So just checking for stream wise to see how well. Yeah, that's barely visible for you guys on the stream. And it's fairly visible for me. Okay, so I can hear just got a silence of systems that are actually watching over us. There we go. Bam. Sorted. So, until dawn, do you guys know about this game? Have you heard about it? Do you know what it does? Do you know how scary it's meant to be? This is meant to be pretty damn scary. I swear to God. What I've been told is that it's actually jump-tastic. Hang on a second, I'm just going to check audio levels on this mic. Give me a second here, recording levels. That needs to be brought up a little bit more, I'm sure. Uh, that sounds a little bit more reasonable. Um, maybe a little bit loud for you guys that are actually nearby. But that makes it a little bit more manageable for me to be able to talk without making too much noise. All right, let's see. That's what I need to do. Just like our Life is Strange stream, I'm going to be having a couple of quiet beers while we're playing through this because I like horror movies. I like horror movies with beers. I like horror movies in good company. But suddenly, since I don't have good company, I'm going to have good beers. The um, expectation I have for this is that it's going to be about a four to five hour playthrough to actually run through the main storyline of Until Dawn at least once with the possibility of maybe going back and redoing a chapter at some point if <laughs> things go horribly, horribly awry and I can't manage to survive any longer than, what, a day? <laughs> or like not even a day, a, a chapter, I suppose is the best way to describe it. So we've got ourselves up and running now. You can hear me fine. I'm just going to check audio levels on streams here. Let's see. Traditional controls, motion control. No, dear God, traditional controls. Why the hell would I do anything otherwise? Ooh, nice and creepy. Oh, the my love of Raz Craven is making me really excited for this. Damn! Okay. Reason to be scared. <clears throat> Feel free to throw a quick message into the chat whether or not you can hear me okay if the audio levels are okay because um, I'm still getting a bit of fluctuation here on my own headset that I'm listening in on. Uh, hitting grand. But I'm a little bit curious to know whether or not Twitch is getting the echo that we were having beforehand. And if you're actually still getting the game audio, that song I was a little bit concerned about with the new setup. Uh, if there's at any point no game audio, do say in the chat, please, because that'll solve a lot of problems. Just checking to make sure everything is actually up and running on this end. Yeah. This is the problem with using a lot of security to block out your computer from malicious material. It also blocks out things that people want to be letting run when they're managing pages. So I'm just going to check this here. Oh, good lord. How many things do I need to allow? Alright, that should be us good and grand. Hmm. Yeah? We good? Simply creepy for the first thing that happens, Son falls over in the room that I'm not expecting. Good move. Alright, that should be the chats up and running. That's everything up and going. Beautiful. So, welcome again to a live stream for Passive Skin, Passage of Life, here on hitbox.tv and live on twitch.tv also. If you want to see a bigger picture in picture, since you swapped over, uh, whatever one you're on, swap it over to the other one. Hitbox.tv has the larger version of the room the studio. Um, Twitch.tv has just the little box in the corner. So if you want to be watching either one of them, feel free to swap from page to page or have both of them up and running. Uh, I think they should be in sync. <laughs> That's, uh, my main concern is that they actually are in sync now, but um, they should be playable. Let's see. I'll take a quick look in the settings to see brightness and audio. Uh, yeah, those should all be pretty high and grand. Uh, subtitles for those watching. What? Yes, yes, I do want to turn that on. <laughs> uh, da -da -da, sidebar text, enable or disable overlay text for written material while playing. Enable or disable subtitles. I think we'll leave that as is. I like this um, 
enables the cheap shots feature, which will automatically record video as you play. I'm assuming this is actually for the purpose of like, ah! <laughs> so um, we'll see how that goes whenever we're playing through here. We'll probably cut into the, um, the YouTube content as I go along in this. Uh, camera captures, yeah, hasn't picked up anything yet. So, we've actually got ourselves set up and ready to roll. I wanted to give a couple of minutes for people to be able to join into the stream. Um, I think we've got a few viewers now, so we're going to jump straight in the brand new story. Uh, a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Yep, we all know it. It's actually, to be honest, one of your man's uh, better movies. Um, shit, he played Bill Gates. Um, he punked people. That guy. <laughs> That's how little I care about him. Small decisions. Well, yeah. I figured that would be the case. Okay. One of many possibilities. Well, oh, let's see where we branch off in these stories. Choose your actions carefully. Oh, the terror's kicking in. Oh, come on. Don't want to miss anything while I'm trying to fix this on your bloody group chat. There we go. Ah, damn. Bitchiness already kicking off in the very beginning of this. Screw that. You need my ass. Okay, everybody going in their own different directions. Well done. Smart move. Good start. <laughs> Easy little quick scare. Jeremiah Cragg, the tastiest of rums or whiskeys. Well, shit. Um, what the hell happened? Whoa, what the hell's this? Uh, find out what the others are up to. Okie dokie. Help if I could put this down. What the hell happened? Have I managed to lock up the game on the first action? Put the damn thing down! Seriously! 
Oh, you are got to be kidding me. Um, I'm sorry folks, I think we might have to restart, because <laughs> for some reason I've somehow managed to pick up an object and I, I'm fascinated with it now, I can't put it down. <laughs> Alright, well let's, uh, we're going to have to start that again. <laughs> access to the, the right to permanent access to the episode menu. Okay, can I just pick an episode? No? I can't just start an episode because I'm still stuck at the very beginning. Man, that sucks. All right, can we skip this? No. All right, here we go again. First try. The most terrifying thing I've found so far is a bottle of whiskey that's empty. To be honest, that is a truly terrifying thing. I can't stand an empty bottle of whiskey. You're kidding me! These things just have no grip. There we go. Yes, yes, my actions will shape the future. It would help if I could actually get to the future. Let me skip this thing. No, no. Screw you. I'm sorry disappointed in the first 30 seconds of this game. <laughs> See people being dicks to somebody in a cabin and somebody else spotting something very early on. There she is. It didn't do that whole thing with... Oh, it is it's going to do this. Right. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> He's looking out for her and then being a dick. Seriously, there actually is. Okay, so everybody going their own separate ways, lock themselves into different rooms. Sure, somebody's gonna die over this. All right. Hannah. I have to say, I really do like the facial animations in this. It's it's still in Kelly Valley, but it's getting past that. It's wonderfully creepy. Okay, this time I'm not going to lift the bottle of whiskey a second time. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it just be us this weekend. Josh. Why is she looking up at the roof? <laughs> Okay, this time I'm not going to lift it up a second time, but I will lift up whatever this is. Hannah, you look so da damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Man, that's ah, dick move territory. Yeah. Naive sister. 
Oh shit. going to end any other way. Fuck you guys. Guess who's getting killed first. Oh, okay, so I like this. You Hannah. jerks. Hannah. So should we go after her? Yes. You know, I think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh shit. The hell? okay. Let's get this going. Uh fast, safe. Shit. Okay, going fast. Okay, let's see how we can react to this. Bring this shit on. Uh, follow footprints, obviously. Oh, shit. Lord. Hello? Hello? Is this her shoe? What the? What the hell is that? the death totem uh, the possible death of the person who finds it okay how you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true as you unlock totems the events of the past will become clear okay what is this oh okay it's kind of like a thing Suitably creepy. Oh, wrong button. Hannah. What the fuck? Oh my god. 
God, he must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, back. Okay, time to get the fuck out of there. Oh shit, Hannah, come on! Oh shit, there goes the phone. Um. Okay. It's up there. Hold on. Um. Down. Shit. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. We have to accept this in order to move forward. There is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Mm. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commands with this game. This is Okay. I want to help you see it through. Sure. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, a little terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may be, you will always find a way to work through. Much appreciated. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you keep about it. It, it is essential. To okay. Honestly, in order to get the most out of it. <laughs> sure, it's the shattered memories thing. Okay. Scarecrow in a field? Scarecrow in a field? Hmm. It makes me happy. Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Sunshine. It's peaceful. Kind of nice. Uh, and what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Wouldn't care. Uh, a level headed response. But everyone is fighting for something. I wonder what it is. It does right to you. Mm. Find out for me? Well, that kind of sucks. Investigate that in the next session, shall we? Sure. Sounds good to me. Oh, 
Come on, Doc. Give me some info. Who am I for a start? I see hats and a glove. Am I meant to leave? Okay. Apparently I'm leaving. <sighs> oh, death. I don't think Death's gonna really much let anybody live. Let's make it until dawn. Make a noise just so if I'm going to put the video up, I need to cover it. I did suck. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You're threatening motherfucker. Old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son John. Radio from the past. The anniversary of the mysterious disappearance hmm. of Hannah. Radio from the Pines. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond it, awesome to wait, have you guys all back this here. Dude from Mr. Robot. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Yeah! Woo! So, uh, I like you, dude. Just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But yeah. I just want you all to know, um, it, means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And, uh, You're the killer. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still. You're together. the killer. And I'm thinking of that. You're the killer. <laughs> I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you. You're the goddamn killer. Share some moments that we'll never forget. Whoever was the killed Hannah and Beth. Take my sisters, and you know. It doesn't matter. You're on a revenge okay. kick. Yes, that's party. Jesus. But also cool, that's the guy from Mr. Robot. I like him a lot. Second credit sequence. We already had one of these. Second sequence, and it's a bit too much. 